Hello everyone, it is Princess underscore Mini4 and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be doing The Sims 4 Episode 1 with the Clinton family. If you guys are new here, please make sure to turn on the notification bell to know when I post and make sure you subscribe. Alright you guys, so where we left off was I pretty much showed y'all the entire house and y'all met the Clinton family. So now we're going to get... R1 a job so he's probably going to hand the baby oh no he's going to put the baby in the crib okay so I forgot about this family it's been a hot meanie I'm going to let her pet the dog so he's putting I don't know why he had to put the baby all the way up here when he could have just handed the baby to me but yeah so princess just became friends with the dog <laughs> So he's about to get a job. I don't know what kind of job I want him to have. But I do want him, uh, let's see. So yeah, these are the list of jobs. Y'all can always pause it if I'm scrolling. I've been playing since like, when did this game come out in 2014. So I've been playing since then. So I'm kind of used to everything. But, so secret agent. Because they're obviously going to start like at the lowest level maybe i'll have him be a lawyer i guess so that's his job now pick the baby back up so he's gonna pick up jeremy all right and then we're gonna go down to me and i am gonna get a job so it says work assignment should arwan clinton get a jump start so i guess he can so let's pause the game real fast so it says meet prospective client so it says click on another sim and hit meet prospective client. So what we could do is we could wait for, usually the neighbors come over and like greet you when you move in on the sims game. So maybe we'll wait for that. But I think for princess, she's going to be in the military. I really like this branch in the sims. So, so I don't know why she's getting a phone call. Yeah, let me see. Oh, so quirk reveal. So Jeremy is a gassy kid, so he's going to be passing gas a lot. All right, so now we're going to go look at Jordan. So Jordan is a grade school C student. So I'm going to go into her inventory and we're going to get some homework. She's so going to do her homework. Then in order for her to get to a B student, she has to earn a skill. And she has to get it to skill level two. So she currently has no skills. Um, but we're going to leave that for now. So he's holding the baby. Okay. So she also has a work assignment. So it wants her to run on the treadmill. Well, we do not have a treadmill. But I guess we have to go buy one. Let's cheat in a little bit of money, y'all. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed or enjoying this series. I really love playing The Sims. So, yeah, and I also hope that this video doesn't get cut off because I'm also expecting a phone call about a surgery. You know, they always call you the day before to tell you what time to come in. So I'm expecting that. So hopefully it doesn't happen this morning. It is 11 in the morning. So I bought her a treadmill. Um, I think that's good for now. So that's her work from home assignment. That's the reason why I picked both of these jobs because they can bulk work both work from home which is kind of cool which is kind of a job i would want in real life where you could work from home so i'm going to bring my son inside so this is trenton i do not want him outside by himself the sims is fairly safe it's not like real life obviously now you could get mods where like there will be kidnappings and stuff like that but i don't want everything you know that realistic so anyway he's going to come and he's going to put jeremy down here seems like the dog wants <laughs> some interaction but yeah i hope the game isn't too quiet for you guys but i don't want it yes. louder than me okay so jordan has done her homework i do have a mod that has them finish their homework quick because it takes so long so she's going to fill the dog's food up and yeah so i'm gonna have jeremy look at the toy so he can start earning his milestones 
And I think I'm going to have her start learning how to ride her bike. So she can hit practice riding bike because that gets her motor skill up. Then we have Trenton, which what I should have done, let me see. They have a toy box, right? Yeah, they're sharing a toy box. So I'm going to open the toy box and I'm going to bring at least one toy downstairs for him. <clears throat> Excuse me. So he can start doing that. So now the dad has to meet somebody. Oh, somebody's right here. So I'm going to have him meet. This is Bajorn. Yeah, I don't know his name. But yeah, I'm going to have him meet him so he can have a prospective client. Hopefully that works. Here's my sim. I don't know why. I feel like the game is quiet. Like, I don't hear anything. Right? I don't know what's up with that, y'all. Oh, no, you can hear it. Okay, y'all can hear him a little bit. So. Alright, I turned it up a little bit. Because they sound cute when they're doing stuff. So yeah, my sim is an overachiever, which means that she um gains skills faster, which is, I love that. Okay, so is he talking to him? Okay, good. So they're making some friends. Well, he's making a friend. So it says, oh yeah, and I, up, I downloaded another mod, actually, since um the last time. Now there's the LGBT plus mod, so I'm going to show you how that works. Excuse me for drinking. So he's meeting his prospective client. Cool. So then he got paid for that. $67. Um, I don't know how much she got paid for it, but probably about the same. So Jeremy has reached his reach milestone. And here's another thing that came with the new uh update. So Trenton is saying that he's outshined. From watching siblings milestone that was it big deal trent has been doing that for years it's i mean i never thought that a toddler would care about their infant siblings <laughs> milestones but that's what's in the game so she's out here learning how to ride a bike and the puppy's just out here but he's not a puppy but i'm gonna have her go talk with the dog so he's in here just playing with his toy Okay, so I want to show you how the LGBT plus mod works real fast. So you hit orientation and anxiety, I mean, and identity. So you can have them ponder it, right? Like they can ponder their orientation and identity and it would just be randomized or you can make it, you know, in real life. So you can actually change it, right? Like you can change everything. Or, you know, like I said, they can do it themselves, which I don't know what I want to do with her. I think with him, I'll have him ponder his, maybe. Um, let's see. So, you hit decide to ponder, and he can ponder gender, ID, and orientation. So, it'll just be pretty much randomized. And here's her riding a bike. I do not know why she's riding through the house. So now this is what Arwan is saying. It says, recalling moments in my life and social experiences. So you can say, I think I am, and you click it yourself. Then I think I am, and it's fate, or I think I am fate with auto assigned. So I'm just going to hit, I think I am fate. So now let's see what it says. So he is gender fluid. Well, I guess they are aromantic, demisexual, and sexual attracted to feminine sense. Hopefully that doesn't affect them making another baby but we'll see that is one thing i do want them to do real fast so now she has her second motor skill so you see that it's all crossed off i don't know why this seems to be so glitchy why is she riding through the house like that all right so i'm gonna have him come back home he can talk to his friend another time i want them to to make another baby um jeremy's in here getting his milestones so he got his learn to reach. Now he's tired. So I'm going to have him try to go night night. So he can just take a nap. Um, so let's see if they can 
try for a pregnancy. Now, the Sims game is rated mature, 17 plus, but I have no mods where it's like, you know, they're going to show everything. There are mods where they do show things, but obviously you can't put that on YouTube. So, they usually just go under the cover. And I've been playing the Sims, obviously, well before I was 17, but that's just besides the point. But yeah, so they're going to go woohoo. What is this saying? Arwan doesn't want a child right now, and actively trying for a baby is simply a stressful process in that circumstance. Well, y'all already know, if I want a kid, I'm getting one, so it don't matter if he wants one or not. <laughs> y'all see why I'm single, right? Because no, if I want a kid, we having a kid, period. So he's going to come out here and talk to the dog, Apollo. Look how they go down the steps, it's so cute. Can she stop riding through them? Like, <laughs> oh my god. So, we're going to see if she's pregnant. So, I do have a pregnancy mod. So, we're going to take a pregnancy test. She's sore from working out. This is why I need to work out in real life, y'all. Because I really am sore from working out one time. I need to go to the gym. But, yeah, you see it's all censored out for YouTube. So she's not pregnant, sadly. Um, what's the dog doing? Ooh, waking his dad up. Um, we gonna try again. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm kind of funny. Um, so why did the dog leave my son out here like this? So we gonna cheat that attention up. So what is he again? He's silly, right? All right, go here. I'm going to show y'all Jeremy sleeping. He's so cute. Oh, excuse me. Hold on. Look at him. He's so cute. I love babies, y'all. Real life in the game, I love babies. So, she's almost done doing that. So, he has to go pee. Um, I probably should have brought a potty downstairs, but I'm just going to have his dad take him upstairs to use the potty, pretty much. One thing I wish they did have in the game is I wish that the children, so like Jordan's a child, I wish that she could pick up the infant or the toddler and bring them upstairs. Because sometimes the parents be working or whatever the case is. And yeah. Alright, so let me see. So he's going to... Uh, Click this and hit potty train Trenton. Then hope that she's pregnant. I could cheat it in, but I don't want to like always cheat y'all. But I mean, in reality, oh, she can go to the doctor for a pregnancy test. I didn't even know that. Okay, I think she is pregnant. All right, I just wanted to check. So now we're going to take a pregnancy test. So she's upset because they failed to conceive. And this says flying with no pairing shoot. No protection was used during this latest woohoo session. I like her little do rag. So, usually when they sit down like that, that means that they're pregnant. So, yep, she's pregnant. Y'all can see her reaction. Eyes got real big, like they weren't trying for a baby. But look at the dog. No privacy. The princess is pregnant. Yay. At least she's not showing already, so it may only be one key. I hope we could have, like, twins or something. But... Anyway, so he's upstairs. Potty training him, because he needs to be potty trained. And then... Is she done? No, she's still out here riding her bike. It's funny how when they have them riding their bike like that, they're, like, not even using the pedals. And I'm trying to think back when I first learned how to ride my bike... Was I using the pedals or not? I really don't remember. Look at this. <laughs> I am so sorry for the glitches, y'all. Oh, someone's awake. So, I'm just going to have him use the bathroom. Because it literally sits there until it's all the way in the red. And then she's going to have to just change his diaper. Is there a changing table upstairs? There is one upstairs, too. Okay. So, she's showering because she was a little musty after working out. And, you know, woohooing. So... She is going to uh, change Jeremy's diaper. Oh, so she's at motor four already, y'all. 
And she's still doing it. Like, usually they'll get upset and they'll stop doing it. But, and she's gaining confidence. So right now she's neutral confidence. Um, and hopefully, well, she went down here and changed the diaper. I knew she was going to, but. I guess he doesn't like his diaper changed. Well, actually, I feel like most boys don't for some reason. Alright, so now let's pause it. So now she's done. So it says, I'll never get better at this from struggling to ride a bike. This is so frustrating. Why can't I get the hang of this? That's kind of sad, but it is real life. So now I'm going to have her get off. Because for some reason, I don't know if that's a glitch or not. But it has them get real tired when they ride a bike. So I'm going to have her come in here and uh, play with the dog. So I know this baby is hungry. So I'm going to have her breastfeed him. Look at him crying because he's hungry. <laughs> look, see, look, he's always going to be passing gas, y'all. So I'm just going to show y'all her breastfeeding him. Obviously, it's blanked out, but yeah. Then this one is done up here. Went to the potty all by himself. So, let me see. So, I'm going to have him give food to Trenton. Give him hmm, maybe a peanut butter and jelly sandwich since he's a little hungry. Then, is she playing with the dog? Yeah, she is. That's what's up. I just can't imagine a house without a dog in real life anyway. I can't imagine a house without dogs or kids, if I'm going to be honest with you. So I think I'm going to have her. Well, actually, she can put him back down here. Why is he crying? What's wrong with him? Oh, because he's gassy, yeah. So we're going to watch him eat in, big boy. Can you get out the way? Sorry, y'all. <laughs> He's all in the way. Let's see him eating. He liked that peanut butter and jelly. Alright, so mom, which is me, princess is going to cook dinner. So we are going to cook a garden salad because I think I don't have cooking skill. No. So he can do tummy time with Jeremy. Spend some time with his kids. And then she's apparently playing with the dog i don't really know it has like that right there oh they're cute so now he's done he's sitting here waiting patiently for someone to come take him out but yeah so let's see uh, okay so the dog has to go pee so i think yeah x to go potty what does this say? Sometimes all you need is a breather from the world with a furry friend. That's kind of nice. So I'm going to have her clean this up. Then he's going to Eleanor Sullivan. Let's see what this is. Infants can be a real handful, especially for new parents. Well, we're not new parents. I specialize in child care, and I've helped young families in your neighborhood plenty of times. I'd be willing to help out for a few days if you're willing to accommodate. No, thank you. That, pr that pretty much brings somebody to live in your house on the game for like a few days, and I'm good. I mean, because there's literally a mom and a dad, and we can work from home if we want to. So, I don't know why the mom, well, she's not really hungry quite yet. So, he can go grab a serving of that. And he's getting tired at 5 o'clock, that's ridiculous. So, I'm going to have him sit here. I'm going to have her... Put on some kids shows for him. I want him to play with the toy so he can learn. I think what is the other milestone he has to learn? I don't remember. Look how fast she ate that. Look how she walking. Um, where is the dog? Oh, he's just chilling. I got such a good dog, y'all. Um, so what we could do. I think first thing I'm going to have her do, so here's what she can discover the baby number and birth gender. She can go to an early parenthood class and go to a birth class. 
obviously go get an abortion which we don't do that around here i don't and then go buy something but here's another thing she could do but i'm gonna wait until a little bit later on so i want her to eat okay she's hungry now good So, let's see what this says about Trenton. Trenton seems to really love anything that makes sound. Toddlers with this quirk tend to be fascinated with radios, TVs, and toys that make sounds. Okay. Not too bad. So, is he tired? Yeah. It's almost time for him to take another nap. Alright, so she got her food. She put the food away. I don't think the dog's eaten yet, has he? Well, he went to sleep, so. But, yeah. Oh, let me see. So. We didn't have the welcome wagon today, which is kind of weird. Um, So, one thing we do need to do is we do need to build the treehouse for the kids. But I think for now they're just going to spend a little bit of time as a family watching some TV. Um, which, you know, they don't really care for the uh, kids' TV, but... So I guess she can tell him that she's pregnant, but he's going to be so mad, y'all. Oh, yeah, so he... Let me click on this thing so I can see. So, yeah, he's gender fluid. Um, it doesn't really know what their pronouns are. They're aromantic and then demisexual. But so I think I'm going to go through and pick out mine. So. Change. Well, not change it. Alright, so I'm going to ponder it. But then when she's pondering, I'm going to actually pick it myself. So manual selection. So. Let's see. We have female, male. Female trans, male trans, we have non-binary, which means that the identity does not fit within a male-female binary model. Then gender fluid, I would say that mine is more so gender fluid, so I'm going to pick that one. Then how does princess experience romantic attraction? So alloromantic, um, princess can experience romantic attraction. Then we have princess does not typically experience romantic attraction, but might in some circumstances. Then this is only when you have a deep connection and then they, she doesn't um, experience it at all. So she does not. I would say demi romantic. Then this is who do you feel romantically attracted to? I would say pan romantic. And then we have sexual attraction. So, I would say probably demisexual and then pansexual. Then, I would say in the closet. Um, so, I think for now, I'm going to go on the phone and I'm going to hit call obstetrician or OBG by in. And I'm going to show you all the options. Probably got a burp. All right, excuse me. So these are the ways that you can give birth or you can go get an ultrasound. So she could do surgery machine, which is the basic in the Sims game. Then there's natural delivery, C-section, home birth. And then so we're going to go get an ultrasound. Obviously, she's like literally in her first trimester. So I'm going to have her go by herself because he doesn't know that she's pregnant yet. And I want to see hopefully it has that one option where I can show him that she's pregnant. But I'm going to have to go here and edit the hospital real fast. Because that's what happens. And yeah. The thing about this Sims game. The loading screen sometimes can be so long. Oh, except for now. So yeah. So I'm going to hit that. And then I'm going to go here and hit bb.enable free build. And when I do this, I am always going to save real fast. Just because The Sims has crashed on me so many times. And it's like, I mean, when you're playing a game with mods, it's going to crash. That's just a given sometimes. But yeah, it does suck sometimes. Actually, probably every single time it does it. So, I'm just going to hit here and hit delete. Um, and then I'm going to put a ultrasound machine down. 
and then I'm gonna save again. Sorry for y'all if y'all had to watch it like this, but I am just always paranoid that it's gonna um crash pretty much. So let's see. Look, it's snowing outside in spring. So ultrasound preference. Would you like to find out the gender of your baby during this ultrasound scan? I'm always going to say yes. I always would like to know in real life what I'm having so I can decorate my kid's room. Definitely. Bright pink if it's a girl and baby blue if it's a boy. I know that's like old school stuff, but those are my favorite colors anyway. So yeah, my kid's definitely going to have them. So, yeah. so she's talking to... This person, and she's about to do my ultrasound. I'm gonna save again, y'all. I'm scared. <laughs> I haven't done it in a long time, but I'm terrified, especially since I'm recording. All right. So, this is the kind of cool part about The Sims because it makes it kind of look realistic. And she's, you know, so she got her bra on. <laughs> um. So, I mean, she's literally putting it there. Hold on, let me take a picture of this. Maybe I can make this into a thumbnail. All right. That's one thing I have not really been doing is taking pictures. So, we're going to go here. So, it says, congrats, you're pregnant. Based on the ultrasound scan, it looks like you're expecting one healthy baby. Man, I really wanted twins. Um, And it's another boy. Of course it is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this is definitely the last kid. Three boys is ridiculous. Um, but anyway, everything looks good so far, but we'll continue to monitor your pregnancy and the baby's development to make sure everything stays on track. This is an exciting time, and we're here to support you every step of the way. So yeah, it says that you're expecting a healthy baby boy. Who cares? I wanted a girl. <laughs> I wanted four kids, two girls, and two boys, and here I am with three boys. So yeah, she's definitely getting them tubes tied after this baby because we not having no more. Three boys is insane. But anyway, so I'm going to send her home. Um, Unfortunately, it's going to be a loading screen. Sorry. But that's how the game is, unfortunately. I'm going to send her home, and then maybe she can show that she's pregnant to her husband. But yeah, I'm kind of bummed out that it is a boy. Sorry. I just feel like on the game, boys, like, the clothes are horrible. And the girl clothes are cuter and stuff like that. But yeah, so I'm going to show him. Well, let me see if I can talk to him about it. So I forget where it's under. And this is another new thing that they made. Now this little pie circle. And I really don't like it. I'm not going to lie. So it's like, is it under deep thoughts? And it may not, it doesn't, it also doesn't always show up. Yeah, I don't think it's here. Anyway, let me let her go in here. I know these kids are probably extremely, yeah. So he's crying, so let me put this kid to bed, because I guess the dad don't know how to be a father. <laughs> like, why is my kid... Not in the bed. Um, and he should be tired too. Alright, so he's going to put the toddler to bed since he didn't want to put the infant to bed. So, read him to sleep. So, she's going to put Trent in the bed. I mean, Jeremy. Sorry, I'm getting their names mixed up. And he frequently hiccups too. All right, kid. Come on. I'm trying to put you to bed. I don't got time for you crying about it. Right, she should really be going to bed, too. So I'm going to have her go upstairs and take a shower. And then she can get ready to go to bed. Either I'm... Well, I'm most likely going to put her to bed because, you know, I'll be done faster since I'm not reading him to sleep. He's fine. He's just tired. So I'll soothe him to sleep. Is she in the shower? Yes. Alright. So he's trying to go to sleep now. Hopefully he does actually go to sleep. Um, so put Jordan to bed. 
So he's going to tuck him in. Is he sleeping yet? Yes, okay. So the two boys are asleep. I'm going to click these lights and hit auto lights. And then I'm going to have him uh, go take a shower. Because his hygiene is kind of low. So she's putting her to bed. So now all the kids are in the sleep. In the sleep. <laughs> all the kids are asleep. Um, I don't know what the dog is doing. Where is his toys at? Okay, he has toys. He's just not playing with them. So I'm going to have her sit in the bed. She does have to get up real early. Um, I'm going to try to play through one day. But maybe a little bit on a longer side kind of video. Which I kind of wanted it to be a little bit longer. But yeah. So let me see if she's just going to have to share big news. And y'all see he's. No, well, y'all see how he's going to react. Because remember, he didn't want a kid, but she did. He should be happy as a boy. So. Can y'all come on? She got to get up at 4 in the morning. Look how he acting. Like he ain't helped make the baby. So, then the next thing I'm going to have her tell him is that the baby is his, which, come on, he already knows that. So, tell Arwan he fathered Princess Child. Yes, he did. And he knows that. But, um, I'm going to show you how he's feeling about it. So, it says, dismayed after learning that a baby is on the way. Look how he's look how he's acting about me. But I tell y'all. So he's happy that the kid's his, but he don't want it. But anyway, so they about to go to bed, cause she gotta get up real early. Oh my god, why is this kid up? He's a light sleeper. Of course he is. I always get that. Every time I have a toddler, they're always a light sleeper. So another thing I do every night, I save the game while they're sleeping because I don't want it to crash or like sometimes you'll forget to save it and then you haven't saved it in like four hours I save my game pretty often and look at the dog whose dog is that oh oh no there it is oh Rosie she must be maybe she ran away or something that's a townie sims um dog I don't know why the dog's not with that. of course why are you awake y'all <laughs> i'm telling y'all i'm really not ready to have kids in real life like go to sleep you gotta get up at four in the morning because um, she has to be to work at six and i always get my sims up two hours just like i would in real life if i had to go to work at six in real life i would get up at four that's just how i do it so i'm obviously going to cheat in so that she's fully slept because yeah that's the good thing about The Sims. Some people like to play it real realistic. I do not because sometimes it is kind of nice to have something that's not like real life. <laughs> so I can cheat in their knees. I wish you could cheat in your knees in real life, but you cannot. So y'all can see her morning routine. She uses the bathroom. She gonna brush them teeth. This is. Look at the dog up. He just roaming around the house. He's like, why is somebody awake? So she washing her hands. Taking forever to wash her hands. Hello. You got stuff to do, girl. Alright. Now she's going to brush her teeth. Oh, the door really said you're not about to see it. Um, and then she is taking a shower. And then, so I want her to serve breakfast. So she's going to serve a fruit salad. Because if you don't have them cook stuff like that, it doesn't need the oven then they're going to burn the house down and we don't want that at four in the morning well actually let's be real you never want that but it happens on a sims game more often than not <laughs> so whenever until they get their cooking skill up to like two or three i always have them cook things that does not require the oven because it's too much oh yeah so she's cooking a fruit salad you see she got her apples her watermelon this dog has not eaten at all. So now it's saying work for Princess starts in about an hour. What would you like to do? So she's going to actually go into work today. Oopsies. So y'all can just watch her cookie. Huh. 
Yeah. She's taking forever. Hurry up, girl. You ain't gonna have no time to eat. What is this about? Alright, so what's the dog doing? He's just watching him sleep. Cause it's so funny because dogs in real life do that. They'll watch their owner sleep. That just shows how much they love their owner. Alright, so I'm going to put, hold on because I got a dog. Let me put this away. Oh yeah, guys, here's a little ultrasound. Right there. So cute. Where the dog going? Back upstairs. Alright, so she ate that real fast. She was obviously hungry. Well, I guess because she's eating for two. Did he wake him up? Oh my god. Now I gotta now I gotta yell at the dog. Hold on, y'all. I know he did not wake this toddler up. So she got a lecture about barking and lecture about waking up. Come on before you go to work. Alright, and then she's gonna head off to work and uh, Jordan has to get up pretty soon. Uh, well, she's awake. And now this kid is awake. Why are you awake? Because he's a little hungry, but we're just going to cheat that in. He's already in bed. Go to sleep. Yes, go back to sleep. So she about to lecture the dog and then go work. See? Do not ever wake a kid up. Alright, so let me pause the game. So Jordan has a loose tooth. She should expect to lose it soon. Wiggling the tooth and brushing her teeth can help spill out the process or Jordan can bite the bullet and pull the tooth out. So Jeremy is a early riser. He likes to rise with the sun. Not in this house. You are not. You're going to go right back to sleep. So now she has a loose tooth, but I'm going to have her do her little morning routine first. Um, let me see what time their dad goes to work at 8. Okay, so he has to get up too. Because he goes to work at 8 and so does Jordan. Well, Jordan doesn't go to work. She goes to school. Y'all know what I mean. So, she's going to use the bathroom. Look at the dog. <laughs> that is so funny, y'all. Because I wished in real life that my dog would do that. But my dog was not attached to me. He was attached to my dad. So, I was like, that's why I kind of want my own dog now. So, I can have a dog that's attached to me. I want a clingy dog, but I want the dog to be attached to me. So, yeah. So, they pretty much all have the same morning routine. Um, he really doesn't even have to shower, considering he showered at night. So, but yeah. She doesn't have to shower either. So, I'm going to have her pull out her tooth, y'all. So, y'all can see it. Alright, hold on. I'm going to try to get a picture first, too. Alright. Ooh! Look at it. Let me see if I can, if she will show it. She's sad about it. <laughs> she will show it. Like, sometimes they'll smile. Alright. But tonight, I'm going to click on the bed. I'm going to show you all. It says, place tooth under pillow and sleep. Alright, so here's what's about to happen. I'm probably going to send them off to school and then end the video. But she's going to come downstairs and have herself some breakfast, and so is he. The only bad thing about when they both go to work so early is that, yeah, the kids don't, the two kids don't end up having time to get ready. I can always hire a nanny, I guess. We'll see. I usually just send them to daycare. He could also work from home, but no, I want him to go into work, at least for his first day of work, so... And eventually, like, the dog is going to want to go for a walk. It's just a lot. But I'll probably play a little bit off camera. I don't want the video to be too, too long. About 45 minutes. But, yeah. Let me see. So, she's cleaning up, too. I'm going to have him up, come upstairs and wake him up. Um... So she's pretty much all ready. I'm just going to have her stand right here. Actually, call the dog to eat. I feel like he has, hasn't eaten at all. Okay. So he woke him up. So I think what I'm going to do is just, here's what I'm going to do, y'all. I'm going to cheat, need, and make him happy. So all his needs are going to go up. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with him because it's just easier sometimes. Then he can change the outfit for the toddler, put him into his everyday outfit, 
Um, she can also change into her everyday outfit. I don't know why they're in such horrible moods this morning. He says, left behind from a parent not being around. No, don't leave me. Come back. Well, mommy got to work. It's going to be even more mad when the dad is gone too, me. So then this says, Jeremy is awake and in an angry mood. I don't know why they got to wake up in a bad mood. Like, they don't work. They don't pay bills. Nothing. Tell me how that makes sense, y'all. So I'm going to have to hit that real fast. So he can change the outfit. So now he's sitting here. Put him down. What are you doing? Alright, can you change his... Where is he going? Way over there for some reason. So I want him to quickly change his outfit and then get set to work. And then they about to get sent to daycare. And yeah. I don't know what's up with the dog. So he can put him down here. And he's going to go to work. So he is a lawyer. So it says infants and toddlers cannot be left home alone. Should a nanny be hired for $60 plus? Yeah, so you're hiring her for $60 and then she's also getting paid $10 per hour. They can also be sent to daycare for free. So they're going to get sent to daycare. We don't got money like that. Um. So now let's see. So Jeremy did learn how to coo, which is kind of cute. I'm going to hit save. Ooh. Then you see how the time is fast forwarding because everybody's at work. So, yeah. Um, actually, hold on. I want Princess to make friends. Not Princess. Jordan to make friends at school. And then she should be home. Yeah, she's going to be home at 2. I got about four more minutes, y'all. Um, but yeah, I will play a little bit off camera. Well, actually, I really can't play much off camera because she's pregnant. So now she's in her second trimester, right? Yep, she's in her second trimester. Um, so Jeremy has learned how to grab, which is kind of cool. Then she got a promotion, so now she's a private fourth class. She gets paid thirty-four dollars an hour, um, and she has to reach level three fitness skill. Ooh, excuse me. So, so he got the Trenton went to daycare for the first time. So I'm going to have him do his little skills. And what's up with this one? He's tired. So he can actually take a nap on the floor right there. I don't know why they get sent to daycare. And they always come back in the worst shape, y'all. Like there are moods and everything. So I really wish I could speed up her pregnancy. I probably could for the sake of the YouTube channel. But I only got two minutes left. And what time does the dad get off from work? Five. We'll see. Or I can just have her give birth next thing. Okay, so anyway, she has to march around. So, the, every day they have a daily task of what they have to do. So, yeah, she can't do it because she's pregnant. <laughs> Princess is not able to do this while she's pregnant. But, yeah, she can still work out, though. So, we're going to have her do that because she has to get her fitness skill up to three. Then, I don't think Jordan has made any friends at school today. But then again, it doesn't always happen on the first day. I do want her to make some friends. So I'm speeding up. So now he's tired of playing with his nesting blocks. He played for two minutes. So now he's about to go on his tablet. So, uh, teachers can be so annoying sometimes. I guess she had a bad day at school today. But she has... Some grade school homework. And then she also has a project that she has to work on right here. So. She did not too bad at school though. But yeah, so she has returned with a school project. So luckily when she does the project, it's going to get her grades up. Which I mean, she's literally a young kid. But my kids always end up getting A's because I do not mess around with that. So she's done with her homework. And now she's going to come in here. And work on her project. And you know me being a good mother. I'm going to help. Then when her dad get home. He's going to help too. Um, what does he have to do every day? File court documents. I may have him do that first. Because it is important to get that jobs up. So file court documents. So I'm speeding up real fast. 
But yeah, I am going to end it off here, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Turn on notification bell knowing I post. And share this video with your friends. And I will see you guys in the next video. Um, hold on. So this is, yeah. Nope, you got the wrong person. That's a person, another person trying to come in and live in your house. They did that with this new update. Yeah, this kind of this is like a typical day on The Sims. The next video, she will give birth to another boy, and so yeah, y'all get to see the birth process and like all of that. Then let me see what else is happening. So Jeremy, the baby, and ages up on Thursday. Then on Saturday, our toddler Trenton ages up. So you'll get to see all of that and how that process works. That'll probably be in the third episode. I feel like the baby giving birth, that'll be like in all one episode. And yeah, then y'all can get to see me like walking the dog and stuff like that. All that still has to happen. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode in episode two. Bye guys.